Hey friends, I know we've been talking a lot about what we eat that keeps us healthy and strong. So I wanted to share this book with you. It's called, What's on My Plate? We need food. Time to eat. Food gives our bodies energy. Food also gives our bodies nutrients. Nutrients are the things that help us stay healthy and strong. There are five main food groups. We should eat foods from every food group each day. You guys see this? These are all sorts of different foods, huh? One of them is fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are two important food groups. They're a large part of a healthy diet. That means they're good for us. And look, we do this at school sometimes, huh? Bananas and blueberries are fruits. Many fruits are sweet. Look, and they put them on, our, on their cereal, kind of like we do with our fruit at school, huh? We should eat about one to one and a half cups of fruit every day. That's 32 grapes, that's a big number, huh? Or one whole banana. Broccoli and peas are vegetables. Remember we talked about how broccoli is actually a flower, huh? Some people like to eat them cooked and some people like to eat them raw. You should eat about 1.5 cups of vegetables each day. That's 18 baby carrots. Wow, I don't know if I can count that high or three stalks of celery. Grains are plants like wheat, oat, and rice. Many types of bread are made from grain. Do you see all those breads? They're made from different grains. Some grains are called whole grains and whole grains have more nutrients than refined grains. So they have, they're better for us to eat those whole ones. Brown rice and oatmeal are whole grains. White rice and plain bagels are made from refined grains. You should eat about five ounces of grain foods each day. Half should be whole grains. Eating one cup of cereal, of cornflakes this one says, and a cup of whole wheat noodles and a small tortilla is all we really need in grains for the day. Meat and eggs have lots of protein. Our bodies use protein to Grow mussels. Do you know what this is? This is an omelet with eggs and they put some meat and some vegetables in there. So those vegetables would be cooked because the eggs are warm and they cook them. Chicken and fish are good meats to eat. They often have less fat than other types of meat. That makes them a healthy choice. Do you guys ever eat chicken? Mine doesn't ever have the stripes on it like that, but I eat chicken a lot. Not all protein comes from animals. Nuts and beans also have protein. This is actually my favorite kind of nut, this little one that's like shaped like a letter C or a backward C, it's called a cashew. Four ounces of high protein food is what you eat, need each day. You can get one ounce of protein from 12 almonds or one egg. Ooh, dairy foods have calcium, what is this? You see that, that's a cow, they, ma they make milk or some types of milk. Calcium makes bones grow strong. Milk is a dairy food. It is used to make yogurt and cheese. Choose dairy foods carefully. Some of these foods have too much fat, like ice cream. It's probably not one that we would wanna have a ton of, huh? Your body needs two and a half cups of dairy every day. Oh, and then they're gonna talk about sometimes foods. Some foods are not very healthy. They have few nutrients. Do you guys know what these are? Hmm, let's see what sometimes foods are. They also might have too much sugar. Candy and soda have lots of sugar and too much sugar is bad for our teeth. And look, there's the ice cream I was talking about. Other foods have too much fat. French fries and ice cream have lots of fat. So they're good sometimes, but not all the time. Not good for our bodies. They are foods that we should eat sometimes. People need to make good choices and have to have a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet gives you energy to work and to play. Okay, guys, I hope you liked that little information on some of those foods. I'll see you later.